Hello everyone, this is Rahul Pawar and welcome to my YouTube channel. In today's video, we are going to talk about the latest sensation in the market that everyone is talking about. It is chat GPT, an artificial intelligence chatbot, which is helping many in any questions that is asked to it. Okay, so today we are trying to explore or test chat GPT in terms of Tableau. So let, without wasting much time, let us get started and see how it responds to our questions. And if you are new to my channel, don't forget to like, share and subscribe. So here I've already, you know, you need to log into this open AI chat GPT tool. Okay. So here I'm trying to, I've just clicked on this chat, uh, try chat GPT, which will take you to this page where, uh, you know, we can ask any questions that we want. So let us get started and we'll see. Good morning. I want to tell. So I'm just going to talk to it and let us see how it answers. I have asked a basic question. I need little help in understanding what Tableau is. Let us see what is the answer. So if you see, it is it tries to answer any question that you are asking to it in a very detailed and you know in a, in a detailed manner uh, mostly. Like say Tableau is a data visualization tool. So everything it is trying to basically describe it what Tableau is. So I want to ask it like you know uh, can you uh, tell me how can I explain my project in Tableau? So one of our common questions that many are struggling, I'm just trying to ask this question to it. Let us see what you know it has to answer. So it is trying to you know explain us what we should consider here. It is telling that you know whenever you are explaining your project, it is important for us to give the overview of the problem or the question. So like how I always tell, then provide, that will provide you context for the rest of your explanation. So everything in detail it is taking, maybe you can keep a copy of that and try to prepare your answer with respect to that. So I'm going to ask another question uh, in Tableau, how does migration work in ta uh, works in Tableau? So we'll answer all common questions that we get in interview and we'll see if it helps us in understanding that. So it is telling you what are the tools that we have in migration. Something that is very useful and something that we can you know keep a note of it. And maybe we can also answer in an interview. So pretty much detailed answer for that. And uh, now what we'll do is we'll try to answer one uh, technical question to it. And we'll see if it answers here. So I'm, I'm going to answer, ask like how does parameter work, work in Tableau? parameter allows us to interact with the data in a more dynamic way by allowing them to make selections and change the behavior of the visualizations. So it is basically giving you the explanation of what parameter is. So maybe, you know, uh, sometimes in, you know, situations comes where we want to find out, you know, what a particular thing does, then I think, you know, this, uh, the AI bot can help you in, you know, getting the explanation for that. Now, one thing is, you know, we cannot, we have to make sure whatever it is, you know, giving is right or not wrong. Okay, so we always need to double check. Then why am I saying this? So let us uh, ask some uh, cross questions to it and, you know, we'll see if it uh, gives us the correct answers in terms of uh, technical questions. So I'm asking like, uh, can you 
tell me how can i get sales for current week and previous week in tableau so simply i'm trying to ask a common question in tableau and i want to see if it can help me so it is telling in tableau you can build use built in function for current and current uh, here is we so it is giving us step by step explanation and it is asking us to create a date run function so it is asking us to it didn't give us logic though but the actual logic it didn't give it is asking us to create a date trunk of week and and uh, current week and use the week num function to generate so th this formula would be something like this so it is telling week num of today so i'm just trying to take this and see if it works in tableau i'm going to create calculated field and test this is invalid because now here as a developer we should be aware if week num is really present or not because we know that in tableau the week num is not there but instead of that we have week of today that should work okay so that way we need to prospect so how to get sales for current week and previous week in tableau i'm going to ask same question again so it is still generating i think Okay, I think I have created one more uh, thing here, and I have asked the same question here. Uh, so it is giving me uh, this answer. How to, first I asked how to get sales for last two weeks in Tableau, then it is taking this formula, and then I asked the same question how to get sales for current week and previous week in Tableau. Same question I asked. But here he gave me this answer. Maybe it improvised in my current request, and you know, uh, so this is the formula basically it gave me. So I'm going to test this as is. But you know uh, that you know we have issues with the week number. So maybe that way you need to check if it is correct or not. But if I just remove this week, uh, week num and replace it with week, it should. it is syntactically it should work calculation wise data wise again we need to cross check okay so that is one thing and uh, i let us ask few more questions to it and we'll see so how to get so okay i am asking what is the difference between rank and index in tableau so it is giving us the precise definition of what is the difference between these two like how we have checked in our previous videos and so it is telling both are say uh, both will assign a unique number to your field but rank will assign based on a specific field whereas index assign based on the position of the data sets okay something that is very useful very useful so like this uh, 
this bot can help us in some of our uh, knowledge purpose we can use it and uh, i suggest you use it for a uh, more of uh, a descriptive answers if at all you want to find out then this would be very helpful for, for all of those who are trying to learn or attend interview then you know this would be one go to place where we can learn about it Okay, so like that way we can use chat GPT uh, for our learning purpose and uh, yeah, leverage the tool. So I think that's it from my side in this video. I think, you know, we have learned how we can use chat GPT and, you know, optimize our understanding and learning. Maybe use it effectively in interview purpose to answer the questions that some of the common questions that we are unable to get or unable to find like you know your project explanation your roles and responsibilities then you can get some gross answers here for that so remember like say uh, what are the roles and responsibilities of tableau So it is trying to give us few roles and responsibilities here. Maybe don't copy here, but maybe you can uh, see what kind of roles it is trying to you know, tell us or maybe use some words from it, but don't copy it because for everyone who is trying to question the same thing, it will give the same answer. Then everyone will have uh, one common answer for roles and responsibilities, which in real time will you know differ. So my roles and responsibilities will differ from your roles and responsibilities. What are the answers that are given here are common roles. Okay, so that we can assume, but don't take it for granted. Uh, you can just, you know, keep some of them from there, but again, be a very project specific. Okay, so I think that's it from my side in this video. I hope this video was uh, helpful for you. If it does, don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Thank you. See you in the next video. Until then, bye-bye.